Right, we're going to make a press tool to fit these reducing cups into this BB30 bottom bracket. These cups are for bearing size outside diameter 37 and 24 inside diameter. And as a bonus, this tool is going to also press in the bearings for your larger bottom bracket with no cups. So this is BB30, the diameter for the inside of the bearing is 30 and the outside of the bearing is 41. So this exact same tool is going to press in these bearings. So you grab your BB30 bottom bracket bearing press tool. If you haven't already made one, go to this video here and make it. It's very, very simple to do. And the only additional pieces you need to press in your bottom bracket cups are uh, these two pieces here. So here they are. You should be able to get these at any hardware store in the garden section. So what you want to do first is cut that barb off. So I'm just going to insert a screwdriver which will hold it steady while I cut it. And if you want to, you can also use a very sharp knife to do this. So that's what it looks like now. And to neaten it up, you can file the burrs off. You'll need it to slide up and down on the thread with no slack. No, but this is too tight. So you'll need to make that hole just slightly larger. The thread diameter is 5 eighths of an inch or 15.8 millimeters. So here I'm going to use a 16 millimeter drill bit. If you don't have a drill bit of that size, you can always try a tapering file. This is a square file I'm using. Or you can use a reamer. However you do it, the main objective is that it fits onto the thread like this. So do that to both pieces and that's all the manufacturing you'll need to do. So get your bearing press tool or your wheel stick tool and remove the poly. You won't be needing that. And grab the tap pieces and then grab these pieces that we've just made and screw them into the tap piece like that. Screw them together nice and firmly and then they should look like that. And here's all the pieces that you should now have. So the first use of this tool is to press these bottom bracket cups into this BB30 bottom bracket shell. So firstly grease where the bearings sit in the shell. And also grease the flange of the cup that sits in the bottom bracket shell. So here's our tool. And we'll put this part on first and then the cup. Remember, the bearing surface goes towards the outside. So you can see how the tool holds the cup so the thread is central. So now put that in the bottom bracket shell and then the other cup on the other side, remembering that the bearing surface is facing outwards. And now the other plastic piece and then the washer and the nut. And now you can wind it in by hand as far as you can go. And then of course you'll need spanners to wind the nuts in the rest of the way. Here I'm just using adjustable spanners, that's fine. And it's working a treat. The cups are going in nice and straight. So you keep winding in until you feel the resistive force and you'll know that's far enough. Now simply undo the whole thing and take the tool out and you're done. These tap pieces come in a few different colours. 
so you might like to buy two of a different colour for your BB30 larger bearing press. I chose light grey, so now I've got orange for pressing in cups and light grey for pressing in bearings that go directly into the shell with no cups. So the second use of the tool is to press these bottom bracket cups into this BB30 bottom bracket shell. So an even layer of grease with the bearings sit in the shell. Also grease the bearing. And here's our bottom bracket and here's our tool. First put on the bearing press piece and then the bearing, grease facing inwards, insert into the frame and the bearing on the other side, grease inwards, the other bearing press piece and the washer and the nut. So keep winding the nuts in and just make sure that the bearings are starting to line up with the bottom bracket shell where they fit in nicely and that they're square. Keep winding in and they should start to press in nice and evenly. And when it gets too hard for your hands, in come the spanners. And wind them in until you feel it comes to a firm stopping point about there and then back off and unwind it all. And that's it. Your bearings should be perfectly seated. Well, there you go. You can now press in your own bottom bracket cups. You might say, well, the good tools for doing that are all metal, all the parts are metal. Why are we using plastic? Well, plastic is the least likely to do harm. Remember, we've just pressed aluminium cups into an aluminium shell in a carbon frame. So plastic is less likely to do any damage. It's also very self-sacrificing, it's forgiving. So when you're tightening up, if there's a fair bit of force, rather than break your cup, damage your cup, or even worse, damage your frame, the plastic's more likely to give way and break. First sign that you can ease off and stop. The other thing is, it's very cheap and it's available anywhere. Well, I got this stuff from the hardware store. It cost me just a couple of dollars for the bits. So there you go, another tool to add to your collection.